Good evening. The first Teesside air show for five years drew tens of thousands of spectators to the airport today. The Red Arrows and the Battle of Britain flight among the highlights. But for many people, the day was marred by huge traffic jams, prompting some travellers to give up trying to get to the sellout event. Phil Chapman sent this report. Fresh from their appearance at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee last weekend, the Red Arrows and the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight delighted around 25,000 visitors who eventually made it to the first Teesside Air Show in five years. Serious traffic problems meant many ticket holders were stuck in their cars for several hours trying to get to the sellout event, with many taking to social media to vent their frustration. Putting on an event where you've got 22,000 tickets sold, that doesn't include children, so we're expecting that more than 25,000 people will be here today. And that comes with its own headaches, and some of the traffic has been difficult to deal with, but it looks like now people are getting into the air show itself. Everybody's having a good time, and hopefully we can do this again in the future, and we can improve it for next year as well. We've heard there's been an accident on the A66, and that, that's something that we can't put within our plan. We, we put out uh, the messages out there weeks before, obviously give yourselves plenty of time to get here. It's a sellout event. There's obviously going to be lots of people travelling. It's one of them things, unfortunately, and, and yeah, if we could change things and fly everybody in, we, we would. Sunderland Air Show didn't obviously go ahead this year, and I think we're next to Blackpool, the only air show in the north of England this year. So obviously lots of enthusiasts coming from far and wide, which is great for exposing what Teesside's all about and bringing people to the local area. And that comes with its own set of challenges as well. So there'll be a lot to learn for next year, but actually I think it looks like people are having a good time. We live eight miles away, massive problem with traffic, but it's forgivable for what we've seen and what an outstanding turnout. It took us two and a half hours to get in from ten minutes up the road but we're here and we've had a great day. Um, I've enjoyed seeing the Red Arrows and the Spitfire. And some people really showed their love for the Red Arrows in particular. Yes I've got them on my shoes and I've got the tattoos uh, and I probably will go a little bit further. Yeah I just love the Red Arrows, they make you proud don't they? Phil Chapman, BBC Look North, Teesside. A Northumberland company which exports shellfish to France says langoustines worth £50,000 had to be sent back because of a minor error in the paperwork it now has to complete since Brexit. Coquet Island Shellfish, based in Amble, says the paperwork was stamped and signed 41 times, but because a name wasn't printed in two places, French officials said it had to be sent back or destroyed. The company says it now has to pay extra staff to check documents are correct. The government says it's working with the EU to resolve export issues. We are employing extra people to do just that. We also employ an agent in France to check our paperwork and that there is a cost added to both of those elements but um, on this one occasion two small pieces of, of text were omitted and we ended up bearing the brunt of that. Some of the 500 patients who've been treated with blood and plasma carried on the Great North Air Ambulance Services aircraft and cars have come together to celebrate the success of the project and to thank the crews concerned at an event at Newcastle's Royal Victoria Infirmary. The treatment, which has been credited with saving many lives, was the brainchild of trauma anaesthetist Dr Rachel Hawes in 2015. She got the idea while deployed in Afghanistan as a member of the Army Reserve. To have that idea, have it implemented into clinical practice in the North East, see it going to help people and actually save lives and now be our 500th patient, it's just, it's just been amazing, it's been so rewarding. Once I got to the operating room, uh, I didn't know anything about it then, but the, the surgeon had said if he'd been 30 seconds later, uh, they wouldn't have got me back. So that's how crucial the, the, the aircraft, the, you know, the staff and the blood and plasma on board were to me speaking to you today. Well done to all. Right, a lot of cloud and wind, especially at the air show there. Let's get the region's weather prospects for tomorrow now with Abby Dewhurst. Hello there. Another breezy day to come tomorrow, but it won't be quite as blustery as it has been out there today. A few showers are going to continue this evening, but mostly dry overnight tonight. But those showers will ramp back up again during the course of the day tomorrow. One or two of them could be quite heavy, but dry with some lengthy clear spells overnight tonight for most. Temperatures dropping to about 10 or 11 degrees Celsius. Another breezy day, but not as windy as it has been today. The good thing about that is any of these showers will be moving through quite quickly, but it will feel just that little bit fresher. That's how it's looking for Saturday. We'll have the week's political news and debate on Politics North. That's tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock here on BBC One. And we'll be back with Look North at just after six tomorrow evening. For now, have a good evening.